I just feel more like a queen and I also feel like 20% gayer when I can just like... It's dramatic. <laughs> it is. I love the drama. Oh, and I got something in my eye. I'm Janae here with E23 and today we are with Miss Veronica Versace. Hello. And she's going to teach me how to do this look, which I don't have a name for, <laughs> otherwise known as hot mess. So, <laughs> can you teach me how to do this? It's a hot mess on me too, it's fine. <laughs> Your skin. Wow. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> that was fast. And then I usually, t I'll take a makeup wipe just because the glue gets really nasty. Um, and I go up above it so you don't have all that excess glue over there. Because otherwise that's going to like mess with your foundation. Tricks, tips and tricks. No more eyebrows. Elmer's and then stay. you're just going to want to let that dry. This is relaxing. I'm relaxed. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time I've broken out from like doing makeup in forever. Wow. I'm, I never break up, which is weird because I put so much makeup on my face. But That's nice. Yeah, now I have this really nasty. Let yours dry a little bit longer. But yeah, I saw this queen who was just like so cool, and I watched the show and I was like, I really want to do this. So I like started watching stuff on YouTube and I tried doing what I thought was correct and then I reached out to some local queens and stuff and they helped me like performance wise but they don't really do the kind of makeup that I do other than that one queen but she's like super busy um so I was like posting a lot on Facebook I made like a drag Facebook and I joined groups and stuff and it's like hey this is my thing you know it does this look right and people would kind of comment some people are really really rude on facebook <laughs> and especially drag queens but that's just how they want you to get better yeah and especially i was very defensive at first being like well, this is my style and people like that no no, no. <laughs> um whereas i tell people all the time now whenever i see them do that i was like no don't defend crap drag i can say this is your style like the more defensive you get the more rude that they will like critique you um but i was like posting and stuff for a while on there just like because I made some really good friends who like do amazing makeup and stuff. Um, and that's the kind of critiques I was needing. They were like, oh, do this, try this product, blah, blah, blah. Whereas like queens around here, they use the same like four things in makeup and they've been doing it for like 30 years and that works for them. But I'm yeah. just like, I need I need something more. Um, so is this whole suitcase yours? Yes. Normally I have, I have one makeup suitcase, which is like this tall. And then I have that for costume hair, whatever. Then I take air spun powder, which is just like, loose old it kind of smells like grandma powder um you can get it at like walmart and it's really cheap other people use like more high-end stuff but i don't but you i take like a little like powder puff thing and you really pack it in so i just take it and dab it on and then i'll They're take gone. like a sponge and blend that and then i powder over the top of this and then do my foundation and powder so you have like a lot of added security so then with this, then I'm just going to take my powder again and I'm going to repack over. And the cool thing about Clown White is it just colors the color of your powder. And this is not translucent. So, which... so then I, I use mine and you just cover your full face. I have to use like this brand just because it's full coverage so it's going to like really cover the man. But I just get all in there. Alright, well I'm just going to do that then. My foundation over and I'm going to go up. If you go down you might disturb the glue. So I just kind of go right back over the top a little bit. It's not going to matter too much because it's close to the same color. I can't believe you don't have any eyebrows. No, I can't this believe. Is, and I'm zoomed in. <laughs> so this is crazy. I feel like a, oh god, I'm supposed to be the Star Trek girl. What are they called? <laughs> not Vulcans. Look things. Next generation. I've never contoured before. You've never contoured? Not That's even a little bit. But I'll, you're I gonna like one. contour to like the nth degree today with Good. this. Good. Just, you know, go big or... <laughs> right. So I kind of start by my sideburns. And it doesn't matter if this is like exact right now because I go... Everything that you do with cream, you're gonna go back in with powder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if it's like a little messy, it's fine. And then I have to contour my forehead just because you want your forehead to look smaller. Also, it just helps blend all the makeup and hair. Um, so I'm literally doing like a ring around my face. And then my jaw, I go really harsh with my jaw too. So then I just kind of take down here and I go down and across. And then you have that. And then I'm gonna blend that in with the sponge too. Oh, she. <laughs> so I just dab at the top of it a little bit just to blend that in. But I, like I still like the still harsh see line. my eyebrows. That's okay. Go for it. Bye. 
And then you're gonna take, you're gonna do your forehead. So you're just gonna keep. This needs a lot. Yeah, so then you're just gonna keep going. She's and here. you can use the flat part of it now. Like and you're this? just gonna go up, yeah. Ugh! So once I've powdered over my whole face, it kind of mutes the color a little bit. So then I take a bronzer and I go in and I sharpen all of that. Which some people, they'll take like an index card or something and they. Wow. Like, that you can get a really nice sharp line. I've never done this before. I'm trying to do it more now. Um, just to see if I like it, but it gets that nice sharp part. So I don't use creams. I just take the powder and I just stamp white powder right under and all the rest of this base that you see is not like dark brown. I'm just like mentally okay. What's the next? <laughs> yeah, I know. Hello, concert. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a really good color on you though. She looks nice. See, I let this sit for like two, three minutes. Oh, you did the whole, see, I, I missed the middle part of the face when you did that. Yep, and you're gonna let that sit for like two minutes or so, and then you're gonna brush it off. So then I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Liner. Oh, wow, you do like the pot? Wow, that's mm -hmm. intense. Yeah, it's wow, the wow, best wow. stuff I've ever had before. Cause I, I do my makeup when I go out, but like, I don't like it when boys talk to me. So I'd always do like weird, I'll do like white <laughs> eyeliner everywhere yeah. or like red eyeshadow is my current obsession. Or I just bought Jeffree Star, my first Jeffree Star, baby's first Jeffree, this isn't it. I haven't bought any Jeffree Star stuff it's yet. Really and expensive. I feel like I'm really like slack and like I need some Jeffree Star. At first I was like, I don't know, $18 and then I bought it in black for some reason. Mm. Because I don't like people talk to me. <laughs> Makeup as a defensive tool. Mm. Would you like me to? Sure. Would you like me to? No, I don't want to do it, so yeah. Okay. So close this gorgeous gonna work on this eye, so I'm gonna go. Yeah, I've never done eyeliner on something else. Well, it's like my eyebrow takes up a big chunk. Oh, yeah. of like this area and because it's so thick and like there's so much shit over it this just doesn't want to like set right on it whereas your eyebrow doesn't take up as much space as I'm having no issue. Oh, they used to. There's a lot of years of course mm -hmm. correcting. Mm -hmm. this is... That's about even. Alright, so then if you want to be a lot higher and weirder because of this stuff. So I take I usually will sharp out this one. I can't tell I'm like, frowning. <laughs> little like half circle. What is that? This is my crease. But I'm making like a new eyelid base. Oh, okay. So this is, I got it. Yeah. Cause like if this is your eyeliner, then you need an eyelid. Yeah, I need <laughs> eyeballs. <laughs> so I do that. This is my sister worked at Macy's. <laughs> And she just got me. I didn't even know Lancome was like a nice brand. Oh, she... Lancome is great. My, yeah. my Nana is a huge Lancome person. So like, I even, I'm so weird. Like I'm allergic to sunscreen just because there's a lot of sunscreens <laughs> that break me out. And the only kind I can wear is like the Lancome one that costs like $60 for a bottle. Like this weird, but I just want to make sure they're even so you don't look like a complete wreck. No, You're going to look like a little bit like a wreck. But no, weird. I'm already there. <laughs> Every day I wake up and it's like, who did that? Oh, it's like wow. the sugar pill, sparkle baby. I love it. I have to spill a color. In there. All the way down though? Yeah, I, go, I tend to go all the way down as I can. And then I go back in with the black and I just resharpen. They just hired some new people not too long ago. Like if you're old enough to serve alcohol, go for it. Oh, yeah, see, I'm only 20. You know I'm 37, so... Age discrimination. I definitely. <laughs> I'm just glad, at least, that it's, an, it's one of the only 18 and up bars in Colombia, which is nice. Wait, you can get here? Yep. It was like everything else is 21 and up, but they're 18 I feel like up. you think I'm kidding, or I'm like, oh, she's not going to show up there. On, like, I'm there on Thursday. Like, Go for it. The future Please. has already happened, and I'm All my... I'm not good. Nowhere near being done. And then I've got to like still get dressed and everything too. So wow, this already looks patriotic. <laughs> I love America. Greatest country right. on this earth that I'm currently representing right now. Awesome. <laughs> what like are you start. doing? Oh, I'm sharpening up my contour. I will show you. Oh. 
<laughs> Tonight, man. <laughs> okay. Abandoned. <laughs> Naked and afraid, that's why I'm right now. <laughs> that once I found out Lincoln was expensive, now I'm too nervous to use. <laughs> Kind of the nose. Yeah. I do a little circle to like start on the underside and I kind of like curl it back up and you're just doing a circle and then I take a line and shade it all the way up to where it meets my eye. Everyone used to say like you can't make a penis shape. I apparently had a penis shaped nose for a while. It happened. I used to do when I was really bad. I did like a regular eye like in here and my like crease slash nose combo, I just took a brown line and I went all the way across and, and then all the down, way down and then looped it back up and over and they were like, girl, no. And I was just like, oh, but I didn't you literally got the paintbrush. Yeah. I love it. I should have never mentioned McDonald's. <laughs> that really cool. me up. I think that really bricked me up. Like this is like so like grossly drawn, but you can kind of like redefine everything. Oh, like, You want to create like that cartoon eye, so it's just like you do white all across the bottom here, just to kind of open your eye up more. I can't get it on the like what is it, the waterline or whatever. Line. I can't do that because that's just that's painful. So I just go. Yeah, no. I feel like white liquid leaking into my <laughs> eyes. Like no. I've had it leak in and it's it burns it, it, like hell. So. And then I like when I get the eyeliner in there, like I cry like black tears, and I'm like, oh, yeah. a little too drama. It's my favorite, but she's too weak. Let's yeah, plus you won't be putting on lashes, so. Just get a really dark pulse. Maybe I should curl? Then I bring oh, I knew. Oh, what's going on? I can't see any of you. Is that what I'm hearing? I can't think of what else would be in this building. LGBTQ Center, but we're not doing anything. They already left to go, like, set up. Like, that's what my phone was going off for. So they're like, when are we meeting? And I'm like, oh, I'll meet you later. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they're really gross. And, like, I smell, like, Chinese food a lot at night when I'm in drag. So, like, I spray a lot of perfume. Smell and Chinese other people are like, oh, my God, you smell like bubble gum. And I was like, thanks. All I smell is cooked rice. So I do hair before I do lashes just because it's just a lot. Um, I made this piece myself, which is what I wore actually what? at the drag show. So I just take ponytails and cut them and sew them together. Oh and then gosh. you kind of just layer it all on. It, I'm, I'm a hair queen, I like big hair. So I use I use really big ass bobby pins and like you gotta, yeah. And if you're not like feeling blood when you put it in, it's not like hard enough, you gotta really jam that shit in there. Do you use paint? It is. So I will like pin this on. Most people like a bump for them is a regular wig that's just flipped inside out. I don't have one that's cheap enough that I want to like use as a permanent bump. So, and then I take these hair like claws and I just clip on the sides. 
to like make sure that's extra secure. Wow. What is there so much going on under there? Right. I've seen people like duct tape around their head or like stick styrofoam up here just to make it bigger. It's all about the proportion and I'm very much a like big hair person so then I will. Me too, but that's just because mine's... I slide that back a little bit and just take and... I don't want to like spray paint. Yeah, basically I'm putting spray Wow, it looks like hair. there's like smoke coming out. This is dramatic. This is a new can, that's why it's really smoky. <laughs> so yeah, like taking it off, what kind of process is that? Um, I just shower with and like wash that out. Like, it's like, like my bathtub right now, it's got like black streaks running down it just from how often I've been in this. It's like the one thing that I like and hate the most is like the black spray because it just yeah, it looks real. Yeah, like once I put that on, it's gonna get all over my hands. Oh, these are hard. So then I take these, and see, that's what I mean, it just gets everywhere, which I hate, but also it does the trick. And you just pin these in until you feel like your head is shaking. <laughs> Do you feel different? Are you like... No, I just feel more like my... Like, when I perform, I'm being Veronica. Whereas, like, because, like, me, I hate dancing. I hate it so much. I don't like to dance at all. Never, ever, ever. I have to dance for drag. So I'm just, like, I've created it to where I'm just, like, I don't care. Like, I'm gonna go out there and, like, be stupid and whatever and try to dance. And, like, I just go with it. But I don't really feel like I'm a different person in it that much. Mostly because... I'm always talking with people, like, while I'm in drag, or I'm just, like, I meet them, like, everyone that knows me and, like, meets me in drag has, like, known me out of it, so it's not, like, a much bigger character distinction. I don't, I don't make a big distinction. Some people do. Um, I feel more confident in drag. Like, I feel like, like, when I go out to the club in this, people want to come up to me, they want to sit with me, they want to talk to me, they want to, like, be my friend, whatever. If I go as me, I'm just, like, that dude over there. And, like, it's kind of sad, but there's a lot of queens who do it because of, like, self-esteem and stuff, and they feel like they're more important in drag. Hmm. And that's why they do it. And, like, I definitely feel like I'm a lot more of an, like, interesting person because of drag. And I'm more well-liked because of drag.